slanging bars like I'm Kelda. Cement my name in this game. Build a neck to buzz with lies. No struggle, no gain. What up, Doe Trainers? My name is Ace Trainer Seraph, and welcome to episode two of the Ace Trainer Academy, where I feature a YouTuber who prefers battling, and they help me learn the different tiers and perfect my game in battling. This week, we have the return of Sketchy Smeargle. Say what up, Doe. I'm still asleep. He's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, last episode, if you guys haven't seen it, I highly suggest you watch it. I screwed up. I It was a... This man got bodied! <laughs> I, body, bag, like, dog. <laughs> I got five out. I was lucky I pulled off the five. I, I pulled off the one mon. I was lucky. Not gonna lie. This man out here looking like Sergeant Bash for a second. Oh, Jesus. No, don't even. Don't even. Don't even. That's that's not even nice, dude. Like, like I don't even think we can be friends anymore. God, damn. No, I'm just playing. So, uh, anyway, we're gonna get up into this. I'm gonna challenge Sketch to another OU battle. And we're gonna see if I can play a little bit better. Hopefully. If not... You know, we still got another critiquing session after this, so. Uh, find a user. Nope. I don't want to find that. That's bad. Hold on. 300 years later. Three hours later. <laughs> find a user. There we go. Open. Challenge. Oh, you. 49. Challenge. Okay, so first things first. When we did our last episode, we didn't. I didn't verify the team, but apparently Clefable can't learn Softball with one of the moves it has. And I have a feeling I know what move that is. So I just go Moonlight. Fuck it. Same stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, Team validate. Okay, there we go. We're good. Right. <sighs> and the challenge is. I do a put off the people. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, do I have? A, yeah, I do have another team for this. Cool. All right. I I think I can do this one. I, I'm hoping I can do this one. All right. So. What is a line? Ah. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I break through those. Yeah, that happens. All right, so the one thread to is pretty much out the way. Well, okay, never mind. Um. Let's go. No five O's. <coughs> or no six O's. Uh, I'll be eat those up. Alright. Um. Ooh. Flinch? No. Oh! <laughs> Come on, I'm making plays here. I think I'm... God damn it. Oh, well, that's... That's actually... Uh... <laughs> All right. So... I think I need an electric immunity. <laughs> what? Hmm. Let's do this. Why did I do that? That was a misplay like no other. Uh, 
No six O's. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, we take this. Ah, uh, man. Okay, okay. All right, Wanda. Oh, that relieves the toxic too. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Diggersby, though. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm just a kid getting bullied. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, now I can't do anything for Raikou. There, take a taunt. Bopped. The fuck? <laughs> this is why I said you needed to get dragon type on the team. Like, um, Azu, I mean, things like Azu plus uh, Chomp um, mm -hmm. help call Fable out very well. Um, simply because it gives you a ground type immunity for uh, um, Azu. Right. Uh, Azu covers your ice weakness. It you know it resists ice. No. Um, what would I switch out for Chomp? To be honest, um, you don't need Ferrothorn as much. Right. Um, yeah. Granted, Ferrothorn is a good mom, but it gets set up on a lot versus things like Garchomp, which you can lead, you can use like lead Garchomp, like rocks, and then uh, Ruskin plus Rocky Helmet for things for like Scizor or. Um, opposing Azus because they're going to take a lot of damage off of that. Right. Um, not only that, but Garchomp, for a fact, does get Poison Jet and Iron Head to check things like Fairy, Grass, Bar, uh, things like Venusaur. Um, right. It gets Earthquake, so it hurts like Grounded Mons, like uh, opposing Drills. Mm -hmm. um, it also gets Fire Blast, which... Um, to be honest, Fire Blast from Garchomp, you are still taking a lot, but it's better than the alternate and Fire Fame because they can just switch in uh, their own opposing Garchomp and take it, and you still take all that damage from its ability. Right. So, um, like, it would be a good set to run Stealth Rock, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. I would say... Um, it depends on what kind of chunk you want to go with. It. I know you can go, like, Stealth Rocks is probably a definite because it actually gives you a form of hazards. Right. Uh, um, but uh, you have option of Dragon Tail, but then you run the Fairy type, so you can either go Dragon Tail or Roar. Me, personally, I'll go Roar so I can actually hit Fairy types as well. Right. Um, uh, I usually go Earthquake just simply because I can hit things like Drill. Um, which threatens, you know, your form of hazard. Right. Um, you can also go Iron Head. I mean, you already have a, ch well, uh, you have a check the fairies already in Gengar. Right. Um, so I could go with Deep Pulse on that, or like Meteor. On, uh, Garchomp? Yeah. Uh, you still want something to hit fairies with, even if it's neutral. So then um, I just stick with Iron Head. Yeah. And might as well. Like, I, honestly, if I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna have something to completely check it, why have something on there at all? True. You know, because I mean, I'm using. You tell. Yeah. You say I should have a dragon move because the only thing that's really, you know, not threatened by dragons is fairy. True. So and that's that, that was just my thought process behind it. And in that retrospect, you might want to replace Tidal Flame something like Excadrill. It gives you a fairy resistant. Um, it has its move pull is great for what you need it for. Um, it gives you a form of hazard removal. Um, because I hardly see ghosts in OU mm -hmm. outside of Gengar. Um, it gives you a semi decent check to Raikou, like a non uh, Oyster Raikou, which. Um, that's something you need to watch out for. If they're shiny, especially if they're shiny Raikou, they run Aura Sphere. Why? So, huh? Why? Because uh, shiny Raikou is the only one that does get Aura Sphere. Really? Yeah. Um, you also need, you have a check the bulky water types in Thunderous. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Clef is good. You just can't let things set up on Clef. Right. Um, if I was gonna run Mega, I would be like Mega Gardevoir in this case, especially bulky, but its move pool allows you to hit things. It has access to Healing Wish, and, uh, um, granted, it doesn't do the same as Clef as being able to absorb its status, mm -hmm. like it does, but in the same sense, it's especially bulky. As Clash. All right. So I would go drill over Tiles Flame and Mega Gardevoir. Well, damn. Then you have two fairy types. Yeah. I got um, three. I got two. I already have two. True. Um. Huh. What could you? You could actually go one of the. You have, actually you could. Um. Bar, you have a. A huge ice weakness, but Azu does check that to an extent. It checks Weavile, it checks uh, Mamo, but right. you can actually go one of the Lotties as well. It forces your opponent to guess which uh, Mon is uh, your hazard removal. Mm -hmm. Um, nothing really lives a Draco from uh, Latios as well. Right, so who would I, who should I drop for? Who would I drop? Who would you drop for that? Aussie or Nappy? Uh, for Lottie? Yeah. Uh, Clef. Oh, okay. Uh, Clef actually still has a form of um, HP recovery. It has a strong, very strong dragon type. Uh, I mean, type move. Um, it's a very good psychic type for checking poison types, such as uh, um, Mega Venusaur and uh, Gengar. So I'm putting uh, Draco Meteor on this bad boy? Yeah, Draco uh, Recovery, um, Side Shot. HP fire for steel types. Yeah. Yeah. And Psy. Shock. And what item would I give him? Mega? Um, no, actually Life Orb. Life well, Orb? Life, Orb, Life Orb and Mega actually are the same thing, but I think Mega in this case simply because it does give you a more defensive boost. Alright. That's looking like a, a better team. Um... Hopefully we don't get as walled in Friday's battle. I hope. I'm scared. Not gonna. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna be episode two for our Ace Trainer Academy. Um, this is still like a beta series, it's basically like the test pilot week. Um, but yeah, be sure to leave a comment or like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content, you know, uh Especially for the not getting six owed part, that was awesome. I did four today, four four O's, and that was because he gave me one. But that's that point. Uh, well, well, I kind of had no choice but to give you one. I I didn't see any other option. Right, right. Um. So. <laughs> so yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Sketchy Smeargo in the description below. Um. This guy, you know, he's been a big help to me. He's a great dude. And, uh, anything you want to say, Sketch? Uh, hopefully you can get it down to three o versus me, but I doubt it. Me too. Um, okay. No, no, I can't, I can't, I can't clown on myself like that. All right, guys, I'm going to get up out. We're going to go ahead and get ready for the next, for the next battle. My name is Ace Trainer Seraph. You guys are viewers. Have a wonderful day. Keep calm and train on. What's going on guys, Seraph here. If you made it this far and are listening to this right now, you just watched my entire video and all I want to say is thank you. Uh, if you need, or if you want to, go ahead and check out any of these other videos around here. As well, you can search me on these social media sites by searching in Ace Trainer Seraph or AT under slash Seraph.